Hey, what's going on guys? This is Kanasty390 here. Welcome back to another MLB17 The Show video. Today we're starting a new series on the channel. Uh, I'm gonna, It's going to be a Diamond Dynasty series. I'm coming back to Diamond Dynasty. Uh, I figured let's get like a good six weeks into the new one drops. Now, this is on a brand new account. I've been grinding on this last couple days. Uh, <clears throat> we have 10,000 stubs. If you're wondering how I got them just from playing the game by doing missions. I have an okay team. Now, the goal, I think, of this series is I want to get to a 90 overall. That is the goal. Now, I'm not spending any real money, just playing the game, doing missions, uh, getting good rewards after games. Like, I mean, the I've been getting these these playoff cards have been clutch. Like, the story of the Rosario, really good, and the Marte is not that good. I got that Jose Batista as an after-game reward. I've bought in a few players to do some missions. Like, I bought the King Felix to work on his mission. Because we're going to open up some packs. Do I do have 10 packs I have saved up? But I do have, as you can see right now, we have at, we're going to have at least 10,000 stubs. Um, and I do want to know from you guys, what should we do with it? Meet me in the comments below, what should we do with it? Should we go buy some players? Should Or buy players, excuse me, to use towards the team? Or should we work on some collections? If so, what collections should we work on? I haven't done really any collections. Now, I have worked a little bit on the Chris Archer program. I've done these. And I've got, uh, I don't think I've, I've done one thing on the Tripper Jones, I think. Yep, got the walks. I've been working on the uh, Oswalt one. I did the trade, so I got the Velar, I got the Hap, I got the Anthony Ghost. Uh, I'm trying to get some of these other ones done. I don't have like any veteran pitchers. I don't have like any of these things to work on some of these. Uh, but I have been trying to get what I can done. Like I've got the Yankee starting pitchers. I bought those, um, and then I'm gonna try to get like some of this stuff done. Like this game right here, get a complete game shutout in 11K. I have Yankee stars. I'm gonna try to do that in the play versus CPU game. Um, work on their Brooks Robinson. I've been working on this as well. Like, I got the little gloves. I've gotten working on some of those assists. And I know, like, one thing I definitely want to work on. I've been working on Conquest. I want to get it done. So I get the 10 pack bundle, which is going to be clutch. And then I can unlock these, uh, uh, con these missions. I have never done those because I stopped playing by the time these came out. But the big thing is, once you beat all these, you get, like, that LCS Escobar, which will help me. Even if I'm only using for a certain amount of time, he's an impact veteran, and I will need impact veterans to do other missions. Uh, the Soto was a really good card, and I've just been working on that a little bit. But the play versus CPU, I want to get these done because, like, I remember this Wade Boggs. If it will show the picture, the 87 box was really good. There we go. That's a really good card. Uh, what was the other good card? The Iwakuma wasn't too, too bad, and it's an all-star pitcher, which I need these. McCann was a good catcher. I think these are all all-star, actually. Uh, that is a, yeah, they're all-star rookie weeks. So, like, I need all-star players, so I'm going to work on that. So, these are some of the things I've just been working on. And, like I said, if I can find it, the Springer. Where, here we go. This has been great because, like, and these aren't that hard. Like, I'm pretty close to finishing this Kettle Marte, and then I get the next card. And I want to finish some of those so I can work towards the, the Diamond program. Uh, or the Dynasty program, excuse me. So, we've been working on that, and we got packs. So, we got 10 packs are open. So, like I said, the goal of this series is to get to at least a 90. I mean, the goal is to get a 90 overall by the time MLB 18 comes out. If we get to a 90 overall, maybe we'll make it like 93 or 90. I don't know. We'll, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. No real money. And I feel like probably not going to spot any packs. Now, if we get like a beat conquest, we get the 10-pack bundle, I'll show you guys that. I think I'll show you guys whenever we get new cards. We'll do gameplay on this series as well. But it's just kind of a fun thing to do to kind of get us warmed up, ready for MLB 18. So... Here are the 10 packs we have. We got two Conquest packs so far, which contains four players' increased chance to find on Legends of Flashbacks, which I need for missions. Four program packs. Now, items cannot be sold in either of these. They're basically the same thing. Two Rookie Series cards. Contains four player cards, including a guaranteed bronze or better Rookie Series player. I need Rookie Series players for the uh, the show's finest missions. Uh, chance to find exclusive Rookie Series players. Um, Rookie Puig, Flashback Chapman. That'd be nice. An All-Star Series, which is something I just gave you guys for free. So I get a guaranteed all-star card, which will be help us out. We got the 87 Tyler Clifford on the team. And the show finals, which is a diamond. This will be our first diamond we're going to get in that. I've had this pack since, like, you get this automatically for just being on the game. I'm going to be, I've been holding on to that. I really wanted to open it, but I want to save it for the first video, guys. Um, so let's get into these packs. Hopefully we can get some cards that can help us out. This pack, we got literally nothing. Um... And I'm like, I really want just some, like, Legends, Flashback, stuff like that. Hey, we got a Silver Jared Dyson. Okay, um, maybe we can use him for, like, a Bench Bat. I don't think any of these things are going to be needed for missions. But that's the big thing. Like, get our overall high. We need to beat these missions. 
Another silver, Sean Manea. Okay, Chris Carter. Actually, I might use that Chris Carter on the team for a first baseman power back. So we don't have a great lineup. Uh, so Chris Carter with like that big time power is nice. Tim Beckham, we already have him. He's actually not bad. I've actually put one of our best hitters at Tim Beckham at short. But so far, these have been pretty garbage. Like I said, I mean, I'll use them to, like, you have to feed players for certain missions and all that fun stuff. But I was hoping to get someone I could use. Okay, two rookie series cards. Our packs, excuse me. Let's see what's in these. I've never opened them up before. All right, we got a rookie card. A Christian Yelich. Okay, that's not bad. It's a rookie card, and I know there's some things where you need to, like, 90 contact or higher for some missions. And I will take that. I need rookie series cards, so there is one right there. Uh, let's hope we don't get a duplicate in this second one. And we didn't. We got a Jack McDowell. All right, I'll take it. Two different ones. All-Star Series. We Like I said, we have Tyler Clippard. Can't sell that one, so I really don't want to pull him again. And we pull, uh, not the best, Johnny Peralta. Not bad stats, though. Can really hit shortstop. I think he can play third as well for that card, maybe even left field. All right, so here we go. Here's the diamond, and then I'll show you guys what the team is looking like once we put everyone in. So, let's see who we get. What is the diamond? We get A. There's other cards we get, too. Oh, take a look at that. I'm not sure if that's one of the best ones. I don't know what are the ones to get because it's been so long I've played. Now, I normally hate Stanton cards because his vision's so low. Holy cow, though. He, that is going to help. I mean, if I can get good, I know that's a big thing, get good. Um, if I can get good with him, that would be really good. <laughs> so let's see. I am very curious. Like, what are the ones? What are the options we could have pulled? I don't even know. All right, guys. So here are the ones you can pull. We we did well. We didn't do amazing, but we did really well. So there's Severino. There's Gary Sanchez. I would have liked the Gary Sanchez. Chad Green. Uh, Pat Neshek. We already have the silver, so I guess we didn't need him. Strasburg. Ozuna, Lindor would have been nice at short, Blackman, there's Stanton, Scherzer, Rendon, I really like his card, his, the gold one, which I'll get soon, Corey Kluber, Joey Votto, Chris Sale, and Jansen. I think the ones I would have want more than Stanton would have been Votto, Chris Sale, and probably Kluber, maybe Scherzer, I don't know. I think I, we did well, though. Like you, I mean, we could have got, like, freaking Chad Green, so I'm glad we didn't. Um, we get Stanton, even though he's now a Yankee, and that pains me as a Red Sox fan. But, that's not a bad pull at all, and this will help us towards, um, he was a hardware player, so it will help us towards this. We did the Live Series 1 already, and we're just working on these, so we're, I'm going to continue grinding on this. Uh, like I said, guys, we've got 10,000 stubs. Let me go put the squad together, you can kind of see what we're working with, and where we can improve, and then we can figure out what to go from there. Alright guys, so here's the squad. We are in 81 overall so far. Now, I haven't been... I just put together like the best players at every position like overall-wise. Even though I've been fooling it around just to do missions. So, but if I was going to play a head-to-head -head game, this is what my team would look like. 83 Felix, Minea, Hap, Kazmir, and Sabathia as our rotation. Really left-handed dominant. Uh, the bullpen, Brett C. Sills are uh, one of our lefties. This Dayton guy, who actually I like. Nishak, the, the silver card. Tyler Clippard's the all-star card. Uh, Cishik. Another cheese card, Denny Farquhar, and Matt Bush. I really like Matt Bush. Uh, I don't know why, I just I like his stats. Uh, the lineup, Kettle Marte, the all-star card is leading off. Trevor Story, the all-star card. This card's a beast. I mean, the dude can mash at shortstop, so I really like that card. Stant third, Batista, live series Batista. I hit really well with him. I just like Batista cards. Eddie Rosario batting fifth. Uh, Kyle Seeger, I bought him because you need to get like three gold glove third basemen. He was one of them. Chris Carter, we just got. Like I said, just we don't really have any good first baseman. It's like either him or live series Pujols. I figured he has more power than Pujols, so I want to give him a try. Travis Darno, that catcher and pitcher spot. The bench, Ian Happ can play like everywhere. Nick Hundley, Villar, we bought for the um, Royals ball trade. Like you had to get all the pieces for it, so I bought him. And just because of the speed, I've needed to get stolen bases. He's been great as just like a pinch runner. Pujols, I mentioned, and the All Star Peralta, we just pulled. That's the team so far. I mean, I've been grinding on it. I don't know how many games I've been doing Conquest. I've done a couple play versus CPUs. Just haven't done any one versus played anyone else. We're on level 35 for bronze. If you want to see our ticket store, I really am trying to save up to get maybe like a diamond or two on it, but it's going to take some time. We have almost 700 tickets. 
but we have to really get to like goal level zero and then we can start getting some so we are still on bronze we have to start beating some missions that's the big thing um actually we can get a gold almost now i don't that's actually not a bad card but we're not gonna get that now we don't have enough tickets but like i just mentioned continue to do missions that's the best way to get tickets best way to get xp continue grinding on it guys i'm having a lot of fun doing this i'm not gonna lie i'm having a ton of fun doing this and we now have a diamond a really good card so we're gonna continue doing this we'll get into some head-to-head -head soon i still want to work on making the team a little bit better but we are in 81 overall like i said our goal is to get to 90 so let me know in the comments down below what should we do with the 10k and it will go up over time we're gonna continue doing missions i'm not really buying any cards right now unless you guys recommend someone who's just really good um, or what I should do with it. I want to hear in the comments down below. I hope you did enjoy this video. Drop a like if you did. Subscribe if you're new. If you want more MLB 17. Going in MLB 18 videos once that drops March 23rd. I'll talk to you later though. Take it easy. Peace.